Hello everybody, welcome back to Lightseekers Headquarters. Today we got a very special video. Um, we're going to be opening up a Lightseekers Mythical Booster Box. This is my first one and I'm really, really excited to get into it as uh, this set is very cool. Um, I'm, I'm really excited just to get into it just in general. I also have an announcement to make that I will be doing a giveaway coming up to you guys, which I'll explain throughout the video, um, but it's going to be on a Kindred Booster Box. So if you guys are interested in that, please let me know in the comments below. But I will get into the rules of the giveaway coming up into the video. But anyways, let's stop talking. Let's get into this box as you guys probably want to get to the pack openings. All right, give me a second, guys. I don't have a knife. Oh, I'm using my teeth. There we go. So you guys know I'm not cheating here and putting packs in. <laughs> All right. See what we got here. Ooh. Oh wow, these packs came in weird. Alright. Alrighty. Let's get into it. So uh, for the giveaway, basically once I hit uh, the 50 subscriber mark, which uh, I will announce uh, once uh, that will happen, who the winner is, and automatically all of the 50 subscribers will be entered. Um, if I get like 51 or like between 50 and 100, I'll still enter um, everybody who is. But my goal is to get to a certain amount of subscribers. I mean, I'm not, this is not necessarily baiting in my opinion, but um, even if I don't hit 100 subscribers, uh, sorry, 50 subscribers for the event I still will announce the giveaway so if you guys do do that uh, it'd be awesome so uh, how to enter so one you just need to like this video um, subscribe and comment below what's your favorite card coming in either in Kindred or Lightseekers Mythical so we got a Dust Fiend, Electrified Moat, Venom Feeder and a Shark Claw okay oh and a Foil Rumbrose all right and a Hero of that that's pretty cool and we got a Foil all right yeah, so basically all you guys have to do is just like this video, subscribe, and comment below what's your favorite card from Mythical or Lightseek, um, not Lightseek, or Kindred. Alright, there we go. Uh, Wild Spirit, Disturb Elemental, Dragon Scorcher, Gravity Well, uh, Storm Calling, Gravity Melder, Resourceful, uh, Cupid Wow, same one in a row, uh, Venom Feeder, and a Negrimness Brightbringer. Okay. Yeah, even if I don't hit the 50 subscriber mark, I'm still going to be giving away a booster box regardless. I'm just trying to get to my goal. So I can not only put out more content for you guys, but I can have uh, giveaways every once and often. So, uh, Secreeble Nerth, Pathfinder, Hurricane Hermit, Mantic Spitter, Rock Melter, um, and from a great here, I'm going to actually put it up for you guys. Uh, Vibeth Kriegel, uh, Mechanical Machine. Kribo Monk, very good card. Uh, Loot Snatcher Foil. All right, I'm gonna put these off to the side. These damn commons. Oh man. Once I do a few packs, I'm just gonna skip through all the commons. So Tyrax Fixer, Umbron Thief, Corvid Conspiracy. Dragon Scorcher, Bone Reaper, Dawn Stalker, Infected Wasp, Swamp Pet, uh, Pedlar, that guy's cool. Ooh, an Insurgent Thunderfin. That guy's cool, rare hero, not bad. And a Crystal Altar. All right, uh, I'm just gonna skip through the comments. All right, so we got an Empowering Sanctum, Stalking Cupid. Free top tribunal and a rubbling scavenger and a foil conjure bubble. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and please make sure to leave a like if you guys do. As of all, this this always uh, gives help towards the channel and uh, helps us bring up content. Uh, so skipping to the comments again. Uh, so we got an Everrock Racer, 
uh, flame fist umbron. Oh, uh, obfuscation, whatever it's called, and a foil umbron uh, thief. Very solid card. Very playable as well. I would like to get a mythic hero out of this box. Um, I mean, everything's not guaranteed. Thunderslog, very playable card. Uh, sorry, so we got a Luna Offering. Sorry, I'm going to move it up. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Soul of War, Lunar Alignment, and a Dugout Reactor. Burn two damage to your two damage to yourself. Move two Explosion Attack cards from your discard to your hand. And a Foil Rock Melter. Not bad. I have that card, but still, pretty cool. And hopefully you guys are liking some content uh, currently posting on the channel. And if you guys, do you guys want to see some uh, other content, please let me know in the comments, as I do always. Accept requests. Oh, wow, there's a nut in that pack. I hate knots. Uh, what I refer to and I have knots, just a little bit of a, a bunch in the glue. Um, so we got a Flame Fist Umbron, Scus, Colossal Skybeam, Souping Rockwind, Storm Conduit. Hey, I needed that card. Foil Crystal Leech. There we go. That card's solid. Ah, uh, damn it. There we go. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Let's get a... Keep making common stacks here. Some Foil Heroes would be cool. Some Maybe a Mythic Hero. I don't know. Uh, skipping the commons. Uh, we got a Magma Worm. Abyss Hoarder. That card's good. Uh, Yakona Arcologist and a Foil Everrock Racer. Uh, Sneaky Cribble's a good card. Uh, so we got a Tyrax Historian, Contra Bubble, Sandstalker, and a Foil Sneaky Cribble. Very solid uh, common foils, which I don't mind. Uh, common foils are always good to have, um, as they're not terribly expensive. Uh, skip the commons. So we got a Dawn Stalker, Evo Operator. Another Sand Stalker. I should read these. I'm going to read the rare. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, two damage. If you lost this card, is a Lunar card. Game one additional action. And we got a foil Skyward Observatory. That is a pretty solid card. Uh, Creeble Nurse, Electrifying Hopper, Loot Snatcher, Ashwood D oh, sorry, I need to skip the comments. Sorry, guys. Oh, man. I got distracted there. Uh, Flame Bliss Umbron, Nimbus Crash, Flame Burrower, and a Foil Boulder Feast. It's pretty solid. I really want a Mythic Hero. I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't know why. Maybe because it's a Mythic. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Crystal Altar, Lunar Alignment, oh, Royal Bumble, Cedrus, and a Foil Bug Rider. Pretty solid. That was a, I thought that was like a three rare pack for a second. Okay, I should read this, sorry. Um, Royal Bumble for the animal element, obviously it's nature. Rotate this one step forward when you defend, attack ability, damage to target, and restart this buff. That's pretty solid. Uh, bug Rider, increased damage to other heroes uh, by three if your last card is a combo. Not bad, that actually is pretty solid. I think the new separate card can be good. Uh, Crystal Leech, I'm gonna skip. Keep forgetting. Magma Worm, Abyss Hoarder, Spirit Walk, and a Floral Star Spell. Not half bad. We still got a bit of hacks, though. I just. I just need to get going. Alright, so skip in the comments once again, because we don't need to go over them. Crone Shock Engine, uh, Infected Wasp, uh, Mimicking uh, Magmites, and a Foil Shadow Puppet. Nice and playable. Um, I need to read the rares. I, I'm bad. Sorry, guys. Uh, mimicking Magmites, copy the effect of a current buff uh, actions. Left of this one, rotations and restarts, but not copy, so you can copy. Is it action buff? Yeah, it's action buffs. Okay. So you can copy the current effect and it will trigger. 
uh, on one of those corners. So that's not too bad. All right, skipping the comments once again. Uh, deliverycrab.com. No, I'm just joking. Um, this tentacle, scavenger gnawler, and the full invigorate. Scavenger for first three corners, right? This, uh, this one step forward when you target, uh, healed for, for uh, three or more. Corner four damage to your target. Cards are right. Uh, I definitely think it could be played in sideboard as many online cards are. Uh, against a healing deck, if you're playing a very offensive deck and can't keep up with the damage. Doing 10 damage if they don't have any buff removal is really solid. Uh, skipping the comments once again. Tyrax, Astorium, Treetop Tribunal, Swamp Peddler. Ooh, foil. That's not bad. Uh, Necrofriends, all right. Swamp Peddler and 4 damage increased by 1 for each combo card in your discard. So, up to 7. Uh, sorry, up to 9. That's not too bad. Hero? No, not too bad. And hopefully you guys are liking this video. Uh, hopefully you guys are. Let me know in the comments you guys are. Absolutely. Oh man. Uh, crystal, crystalline altar, crone shock engine, frozen totem. Ooh, in a foil electrified moat. Uh, frozen totem, when your enemy attacks, you may move discarded action cards and you just go pal to your hand. That's not terrible. Sorry if I, that was not in the camera angle there, guys. My sincere apologies. Uh, Creeble Infiltrator, uh, Crystal Maze, Ritual of Sacrifice, Dugout Reactor, that's three, and a Foil spec uh, Mantic Spitter. Look at that. Infected Wasp, Delivery Crab, Moltine Swimmer, and a Foil Demolition Bot. All right. Give me a mythic hero. Uh, skip in. There we go. Uh, Flame Fist Umbron, Tyrax Historian, uh, Mantic Sweeper, and a Foil Crystal Maze. Mantic Sweeper, two healing trigger. All your defendabilities in play. Uh, conditionally rotating boss when defendabilities you still rotate if applicable. Not terrible. Something good to have. Uh, so we got a droplet. Uh, sorry, I need to skip the comments. Come on, Ben. Uh, Abyss Tentacle. Creeble Infiltrator. Uh, Mickey Magma is not a bad card. And a full Reflector. Not bad. Uh, when you're about to take damage, deal the same damage back to him up to a maximum of 8. So that is pretty solid. Uh, Vibref Creevil, I'll move it up, uh, Umbron Infinite, Contract Bubble, uh, Umbron Brute, and a Foil Bone Reaper. Umbron Brute uh, combos can't deal more than 7 damage, and it has clunky corners, so only when it's been triggered by a combo, that that card will rotate. So not a bad card. Uh, skipping the comments once again. An uncommon one. Uh, Crystal Maze, Flamefist Umbron, Rumble Scavenger. Okay, Burn. You can only play. Uh, can only be played if you have. Uh, oh, this can only be played if you have a combo uh, buff and play. Discard the top two cards from your another hero's deck. Move one discard action card to your hand. Uh, it's okay. Uh, oh, Quantum Loop and a full Tarx Fear. Wow, that was a full um, tech pack. That's what that signs to come. For a uh, one of the mythic tech heroes, so it, it would be nice. I kind of want the nature and tech. I don't know, or the dread and nature. I kind of like both of them. They're kind of interesting. Um, so we got Assassin's Guild, Nimbus Crash, Molton Swimmer, and a foil Nimbus Crash. So not bad. Mm, we're starting to get low on packs here.
uh, Electro Harbinger, Skippin, uh, Tyrax Historian, uh, Vibraf Creevil, Molton Sword. <gasps> we got one, baby! We got one! What did I tell ya? What did I tell ya? It happened. It. Oh, I told you there was a sign. We got it. Uh, so we got a General Carnage, the mythic hero with 31 hit points. Uh, it has the, I believe, uh, the superior mechanical with poison and shadow ability. Deal two damage to yourself. Search your deck for an item card. After shuffling, place the item card on the top of your deck. So this card's very, very good. And I got a foil sandstalker. Oh, man. I am so happy I just pulled that. Oh, chuck that in a damn sleeve. Oh, man. I am so happy I just pulled that. Whew. I can't believe I just pulled that. Man, I, that makes me so happy. All right. Oh, man. We pulled one. Can we get a second one? <laughs> That's being greedy, but you know what? Oh, man. All right. Stalking Cupid, Abyss Hoarder. Ooh, Power Hoarder. Not bad. I like that card. Oh, yeah, I need to read that. Sorry. Uh, power Hoarder, corner one, restart this buff when you take one more damage. Corner three, damage to your target and restart this buff. Not bad. And it has the crystal on it. Oh, that's not uncommon. Uh, Umbron Infirmant, Assassin's Guild, uh, Wave Crusher. And a fountain of time. Not terrible. Uh, yeah, I need to read that. <laughs> Instead of discarding stolen water cards under this, attack ability damage. Increase this number of cards stored under this. Maximum of 10. Not terrible. Straight to the uncommons. Uh, Stalking Cupid, Abyss Hoarder. Ooh, Reality Rift that just got nerfed. And a Foil Dust Fiend. Oh, not bad. Reality Rift moved the last three discarded boss into play. Game one additional action. For two solar, two gravity. Like I put a foil on the other pile. And don't worry, I will sleep the foil, guys, if you guys are upset with me not sleeping them. Uh, so we got a Lunar Offering, Mantix Hatchling, very good card, Creeble Decoy, and a Foil Sun Starhorn Tusker. Alright, uh, Mantix Hatchling is pretty good. We got about 12, 13 packs. We still, we still, still had a bit. I mean, two would be pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm not complaining with one, so... But uh, two would be pretty cool. Uh, Turban Waste, Ombron Salvage, uh, Salvager, uh, Tree Top Tribunal, uh, Carver Scavenger. Uh, instead of discarding stored defend cards under this card, defend ability, healing, move one of your stored cards to your hand, and a foil Electro Hopper. Deal two damage if this is the only buff that you have in play. Uh, uh, we're just gonna take these out of the out of the box. Sorry, General Carnage. I did not mean to hurt you there. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. I probably miscounted as usual, but you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we got a Gorge Docker, Crystal Maze, Bug Rider, pretty cool, and a General Firm Blade, and a Foil and Press Cloud, not bad, not bad. Alright. Those are all gonna go in there because general firm blade's pretty cool. Like I just have like tons of packs that are ripped up just sitting on the side here. Uh, so we got a Soul of War, uh Crone Shock Engine, uh Rock Hill Scavenger. Uh, Interior Sentinel, not like I needed that, but it's all good. Vitalizing Frog Foil, um, this is basically deal, uh, reduce two damage by two of your 
uh, less than 15 health, uh, and can only have the one on field. And cannot be increased. Oh no, it can be increased, but it can't be, uh, it can only be reduced by damage from other heroes. So we have, uh, did I just skip a Dawn Stalker? Yes, I did. Okay. Well, that com uncommon was a Dawn Stalker in front of this one. Umbron Inform, Nimbus Crash, ooh, Infected Vague, and a full of Pathfinder. Not bad. Man, I'm still hyped that we got that General Carnage. Oh, man. I am super hyped. I didn't think we were going to get it. Um, so we got a Boulder Feast, Umbron, uh, Umbron Thief, Astral Priest, Dragon Scorcher, Fountain of Time, Flame Vis Umbron, Colossal Skybeam, uh, Hibernating Herma, and a Celestine, and a Foil pro uh, Prism Totem. Uh, frozen Totem, not Prism Totem, sorry. That crystal got me, got me good there. Uh, so we got, going straight to the uncommons, Turban Waste, Umbron Scavenger, Scavenger uh, Garnel, we've already gone over, and Disturbing Elemental, three damage if you removed a buff this turn, uh, plus three, so if you removed a buff, plus three, not bad. Oh man, some of these packs are just... Ruthless. Uh, so we got a Crystal Leech, but that is common. I need to skip those. Uh, Gorge Stalker, Crystal Maze, Power Hoarder, not bad. Uh, and Obfuscation, and a Wild Spirit. I butchered that, but whatever. Um, uh, so we got a Soul of War. Chrome Shock Engine, Tinkerbot, not bad, and a Chief Rubirox. If you play a card that grants you an immediate healing, you may rotate one of your action buffs one step forward, and a Foil Creeble Infantrator, not too bad. Last two packs, ladies and gentlemen, last two packs. Can we get another Mythic? Can we? Who knows? All right, uh, we got a Gravity Melder. Resourceful Cupid, Orsipid, Lunar Enlightenment, Glad Priest, and a Foil Celestian Warrior. Glad Priest, whenever your enemy uses an ability, heal for one essentially and draw cards. Alright, last pack. We're going to do the commons on this one. We're going to slow roll it. But either way, I'm very happy um, that I got a General Carnage that is very cool. So, so we got a Greedy Grimma. So, uh, sorry, I'm actually just going to flick these. I'm not going to flick the rare. Uh, Celestine Warrior. Spark Wisp. Shadow Puppet. Invigorate. Lunar Offering. Mantix Hatchlings. Ooh, Impressed Cloud. Oh, we got one. All right, that's cool. We got a rare hero, which is not bad. We still have one more chance, so we can get a foil. Uh, and we got an Ashwood Diva foil. So that was pretty cool. Um, but i just like to remind you guys, if you guys fast forward during the video, as there might be a few of you, if you guys just want to see the polls, um, reminder about the giveaway. I will be doing a Kindred Box giveaway, as I said at the start of the video. And how you guys enter that is subscribe to the video. Uh, sorry, sorry, subscribe to the video. Subscribe to the channel like the video, and comment below what was your favorite uh, Lightseeker's Mythical card, um, or whatever the revealed cards of Kindred so far, what is your favorite Lightseeker's Kindred card? And I once uh, Kindred comes out, or even if I hit um, 50 subscribers, which is my goal for the next month, um, coming into the next um, month or next set, even if I get it before it, I still will wait until uh, Kindred comes out to announce. So any of you guys can enter, just subscribe, like the video, and comment below. But anyways, I'm Ben from Lightseekers Headquarters. You guys have yourself a wonderful day. Bye-bye.